Hey guys, it's Darren with Peterson Properties at Michigan Lakes Team and thanks for tuning in to What's Up on Wednesday. If you're under contract to purchase a home, congratulations. Of course, you are super excited, but you're probably a little bit nervous too, especially when it comes to your home inspection. Your home inspection can be especially nerve wracking since in a short amount of time, you will receive more information than you can process and it will all seem very serious, confusing, and potentially expensive. In order to calm your nerves, here's a breakdown of the inspection's most important home components, the roof, the foundation, and the plumbing and electrical systems. First, here's a story on your roof. Your inspector may say that the roof is at the end of its useful life. Now, it's normal for a roof to need some repairs and maintenance, but it is unusual to need a whole new roof. With maintenance and proper repairs, your roof can definitely last several more years. Repairs are pretty easy and most roofers are cost competitive. So please, don't freak out if this pops up in the inspection. The foundation. Your foundation will either be raised above the ground on piers and posts, or will be a slab. If you have a basement, it's raised. If you have a newer home, it's likely on a slab. Here in Sister Lakes, you might have a combination of both. If your raised foundation has some cracks, those can easily be repaired with special epoxy products. If it's completely cracked and off its post, run away. Electrical. Electrical problems that your inspector finds can be difficult to understand. Amps, breakers, sub panels, what does that all mean? Well, older homes may not have enough power to run today's modern appliances, toys, and systems. The wiring may be older too. The good news here is that electrical work, even replacing wires and panels, is very routine. It does not take very long to complete and is usually cheaper than you think it would be. Plumbing. Your plumbing has many components and some are more serious and expensive to fix than others. A leaky faucet, no problem. Septic tank pumping, routine. Tree roots in your sewer, common. Unfortunately, many other problems can be more serious and expensive to fix, especially if walls need to be open. You'll want to get estimates from at least two plumbers. Hopefully only a portion of your plumbing needs repair. It is usually not necessary to repipe a whole house. Hopefully your inspection will make a little more sense to you now and the report you get from the inspector won't make you run away. Stay tuned next week when I'll go over all other home inspection issues like windows, landscaping, and wood destroying insects. As always, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to working with you in the future.